it's incredible. Like literally everything is turning into doodles. Like everything, anything and everything and anything. I'm even disrupting the radio signal. You hear that? All right, so something I want to talk about, the heat and uh, what happens when I, I do blow the top. All right, so several people showed me, not only does it show you what true reality is, which is uh, staggering, uh, staggeringly different or close to what you see right before you break in. Uh, the two people that were in my fake set up staged family was a biological dad that showed up when I turned uh, fiction 813 and I should have known 13 families. I should have known something. And then uh, the ones that showed up after my, my biological fake mom, witch mom, was killed for having me anyway. She was supposed to sacrifice me. So when that happened, it changed everything because nobody was able to kill me after that. And uh, they had to try to get me to kill myself. So that was pretty much my whole life is just being gaslighted. But uh, I'd seen both of them. Uh, the biological fake father and the sister of the one that died and took it to the custody, right? So uh, I seen both of them. Both of them are young people. So when I blow my top, I'm gonna be at my prime age. I'm not gonna be 40 uh, whatever anymore. I'm gonna look like I'm in my 20s. And that's unbelievable. I still get carded anyway because I've been sun gazing my ass off. But the whole point of it is, is that uh, these two people came at me, one of them, came at me uh, giving me some wisdom because they knew I was going to start leaning them for the shit they did. And I did. And then the other one came at me violent, like swinging at me like they were trying to kill me with a knife or something. And I saw them and I was like, dude, that's the that's the biological, what's his name? And he's a young ass man. So then I immediately got it. It's like, so nobody gets old in here. When you optimize your body, you stay youthful forever in this prime age when you were like your best of yourself. And uh, that's what I'm saying. I'm getting ready to wake up the best of myself and uh, I'll be able to uh, appreciate going through whatever I think I'm gonna be going through. So I'm just building up all the con, the pros and piling up, oh, that feels like hot and cold. Oh, that feels good, like, you know, like you wanna be a super lover lover or whatever. Oh, that feels great. Uh, I know all I'm gonna do is spin around because as soon as I get a crack, I just start turning around. And I don't uh, think that the catching on fire is separate from the turbine effect that uh, brings out the chakra ability to its maximum. So, I mean, that's the only thing that would make things catch on fire. It's really strange. Everything I walk by feels like it's a person. Like everything, like this bus is a completely like five faces going down alive. And then I just walked past this thing over here and I felt like somebody was standing there. Then I walked past my rug over here and it felt like someone was standing there. It's like everybody, every doodle is literally just a conscious being that comes off as like a, a friend or, or whatever. Like you were walking past your buddy and you say, oh shit, what's up? So it's interesting. Like, uh, let's take a look. See that? lids mouth it's all forming so i can see them and it's like a mouth going up like that and then down so it's like a cool world mouth doing this it's like all chrome with two eyes looking that way you see it some tongue or something see what i mean so it's just like boom it's consistent bam and then the smile from him gets taken by this these two eyes and then you got a nose here so none of that was intentional I'm trying to show you is that everything is alive in here and everything is coming to life right in front of my face. Like this whole bus is going to be flying like a, a magic school bus. I've already had the premonitions of it. The faces that are coming off of this is so extreme. Like, oh, my God, like a snout is just it's fucking insane. So uh, it's, it's right there. It's going to happen. And uh, I just need to be positive about it. And I'm able to get there and onward I go. So I'm going to take a little break. And what my plan is, is to get as much DMT as possible. So I figured out after raising it up, sorry to ramble, but after raising it up, you get more access to DMT. So when I pushed it up this time, I felt it where I could keep going. I only ran out of breath. So I'm like, well, this time I'm going to take a breath and then, you know, get it all strategized out. And then uh, let's do it. I'm going to do it and I'm going to see what happens. What happens when I take the most DMT I can hit at one time? out of my own body. Will I teleport out of here? 
will it happen? Will the Mickey thing happen? I don't know. But it feels like the end. I don't know when it's going to be. I can only tell you I'm looking at maybe like a week or something like that. But, uh, yeah. Onward we go through the fog. Stay tuned and stay awake.